We thought it was too hard to calculate the embodied carbon. But then what happened is a few people started actually doing the work. So 2008, the inventory for carbon and energy came out, which actually started to say, this is the embodied carbon and this is the embodied energy in the manufacture, cradle to gate of this material. One of my ex-colleagues, Katie Simons, for example, she was working for Ramble at the time in the Cambridge office, and she decided off her own back to calculate the embodied carbon of different options and presented them back to the client and said, this is the embodied carbon for these options that we're proposing. Now, no one else I know was doing that. Now, we organized a research event to celebrate like the best practice in our organization. And Katie came and spoke of that. And I was like, this is amazing, right? So she's not the only person. Lots of people are doing this, but I'm aware of her work. And then someone like Simon Smith, who just happened to be her boss, he sets up his own practice and he starts calculating the carbon, not on a few projects, but on every single project. And he now produces a report every year that maps how much carbon they have specified from the day their practice started until now. They're thinking about how to reduce it, but they're also understanding the impact. And then we get people starting to produce tools that calculate this stuff. So like Elliot Wood produced an online tool, which they share for free through the Structural Engineering website. Got this world where we're now starting to say we should be actually not just calculating carbon, but we should have ways of comparing across different organizations, how we calculate it. And then we should be benchmarking it. We should be challenging people you need to reduce your carbon and body carbon on a structure from this to this now that hasn't happened overnight right that started with a few people working on small projects challenging the status quo and going the extra mile and then they didn't just do the work they shared the work so other people started to hear about it